So hi everyone, it's Tina on Phenomenal Beauty. So I'm going to be doing my April favourites and getting it up at a decent time. I know March favourites are up a little bit late, but these literally have been the products I've been favouriting this month. And I've got a mixture of stuff here, so I'll get straight to it. Which one? I'll get out one I can get out quickly first. It's from Derma Sukin, that new line I was raving about from Sukin. I'll put a link down below to that post, but the one I really favorited was the sorry the daily gentle wash and like all over the body uh, with and without water it's in my kit for the whole family but i'll put a link down below that post so i'll get that out of there the next sort of skincare was actually one of those impulse purchases i got this at woolworth some states call it Safeway, what have you, just a grocery chain for those of you uh, internationally it's from the line thank you body care i think it's yeah made in australia but I, I love it for so many reasons. Uh, the first one, uh, obviously differently, is it just feels great, but it also smells divine. It's with tonka bean and spring flowers. I think there's a couple of different fragrances. Uh, and for 500 mils, it only set me back about $6. It was on special, uh, but I just love the pump, recyclable bottle. And it's paraben free, mineral oil free, no SLS, all the sort of stuff that I really like. The, the feeling, it's got shea butter in it, the smell, it's got rosehip oil, orange, almond oil, lavender, tonka bean, and clove leaf. What I can really pick up is the orange and the clove leaf. So it's sort of a musky, orangey sort of scent. Very slight on the lavender, to, I mean, to me, but it just, it, it's lovely. But sort of, I think the kicker for it is the One Thank You Body Care bottle directly contributes to one person receiving health and hygiene training. Track your impact is, I think, the program. But you can read more about it at uh, thankyou.co. I'll put a link down below. So that, that's, that's really good. So, you know, something, something good as well. Uh, and there's a little code too, so you can sort of, you know, track it. Anyway, you can read more about that. I don't want to go on like I normally do about things. Uh, another random thing is an oldie but a goodie and a good little drugstore product. I mean, ALF, for the longest time we could only get ALF online uh, in Australia. And like a few places you might be able to sort of ferret it out. But now it's in Kmart Australia. This is one that I've had for ages. It's a single eyeshadow in pebble, but it's my colour. It's that beautiful grey, talk, you know, that talky brown. Uh, and it's just nice and smooth powder. So I've already pre-swatched some stuff, but it's that sort of, you know, like you can say, talky brown colour. Beautiful. I love it. Sort of in my contour, you know, doing my crease. crease it's just a lovely all-round uh, one that I can sort of mix with my higher-end sort of products. So it's always a, a kicker when I'm using it with a, an eyeshadow that was well over $20, and that only cost me a couple of dollars. So and that stands up well with me. Um, and now another one too is Essence. This is a little duo concealer. And it only, this only cost me, I think, about $3, but it's a beautiful, creamy concealer, and, but it's very light. Like, it's not quite that sort of HD sort of cream that you get with a Graftobian or Cinema Secrets and that, but it's just a good little mix that I use if I'm wanting to highlight and sort of conceal. So it's a nice light sort of cream for around the eyes uh, and that. Uh, another thing is this Lip Smackers Gloss. It was another sort of impulse buy at Priceline a little while ago. But I love it. it. It's a very sweet kind of cherry cola sort of smell, but it's pink, not brown. So it's a sort of a sheerish, sheer blue tone pink, and it's got silver sparkles in it. So it's one that I really wear over my matte uh, lip slips if I want to sort of um, glam them up a little bit, add a little bit of sparkle, or I can just wear it on its own. But it might not be for those people that don't like those sweet, almost sickly, sort of scented um, glosses. But it's cute. It only cost me a couple of dollars. Uh, speaking of a couple of dollars, is this Ulta 3 eyeliner in brown. It only cost me two bucks. Uh, so yeah, Australian company, but they're made, I think, mostly in China. Uh, but a beautiful, I'll just re-swatch it, creamy, dark chocolate brown. Beautiful. So I've been using it as my eyeliner. Um, even sort of smudged it under my eye and it's just a beautiful all-round little eyeliner for the price I, i'm not sure if this is the new or the old packaging i know they re revamped ultra 3 a couple of times and going on with the eyes as well as this uh tease trendy cosmetics mascara and i love the packaging on this i got this in one of my beauty sample boxes i think lip factory ink and now violet box carry um tease trendy cosmetics 
but that packaging is so cute so they're good for gifts as well but it's actually a brown i thought it was a sort of metallic brown because it's in their desert metals but it's just called tiger's eye it's just a, a brown just a flat brown as you can sort of see there love it so i'm trying to get more into sort of brown sort of mascaras I always go for black 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 but it's something different also in t's trendy cosmetics is this gorgeous lipstick and the packaging is just so cute it just makes me think of 80s but it's got lips on there love apples roses good little gift one as well and it's a never-ending nude now it might not be everyone's type of nude it's my sort of um one it's a sort of apricotty brown so it might be a little bit brownish for some people but i love it and it's so creamy beautiful creamy one as well gorgeous Okay, skipping over to face powder. I'm all over the place. Is this E Pearl uh, powder? It's actually a duo press powder. Got a little mirror there, and it's using two shades. So I've been using it for contouring and highlighting when I'm doing it as a powder. I actually got this at IMATS last year, but I think in Australia you can get E Pearl from TVSN as well. Um, like you know, if you want to order from there. I love it. Love it. Uh, back to powders it was really it was really funny it made me laugh actually I have been loving this Mia how do you say it? Mia Belzia blush and it's a natural and it's my you know dusty pink sort of colors it's just a matte like a flat pink blush but it was weird when I was going through my other blushes and I realized why I love it so much I've got the Michael Marcus one I think I got this in my wantable box my one of my first wantable boxes and it's in demure but when I looked at the colouring, they're very similar. This might be slightly lighter. This is almost a satin finish, but they're pretty much the same on the cheeks. I don't really notice a difference. But the packaging is almost, it is identical with the fact that this is just silver and this is black. Um, but the packaging is identical. They're both made in the USA. But yeah, it's funny, it made me laugh. And then when I looked at one of my favourite ones that I carry in my handbag, this is the Too Faced. Full Bloom in Cocoa Rose. Another, you know, dusty pink. This, I'd say, is a little bit darker than both of them, but I've got so many in the same sort of thing. But it, it, it's, it's just funny because they're pretty much of a muchness. Like I said, it might be just half a shade sort of difference in them. But on the cheeks, you don't really notice it at all. And they're very much the same sort of finish. So it just made me laugh. I'm like, oh... Okay, time to branch out a little bit. Uh, I've also been loving, I've been getting back into BB creams sort of lately. I go on different, you know, liquid cream foundations and mineral powders, and then I'm back on the BB creams, or have been the last month. This is the L'Oreal Nude Magic and the Fair, Fair Skin Tone. I won't go on too much about this. I actually, did, I'm pretty sure I did a review on this, but I did something. So if I can find it, I'll link it down below. But um, it's you know it comes out completely different. It's a lot it's similar to the similar to Origins Vita Zing, one of my favourite moisturisers. It comes out like that. It's got these little tiny little granules in it, and once you sort of um, mix into it, it actually uh, goes to a, like a skin tone or a flesh tone thing. It's not that grey. Once it sort of darkens up or mixes in, it actually matches my my skin tone. But I like it because I am getting paler. As it's cooling down and I sort of like it on its own just when I just want something light to even out my skin tone I mix it with my liquid foundations I'll mix it with my other BB creams it just sort of depends it's very versatile I like it like it like it um back over to powders now what's wrong with me blush and then that and then back to these are two bronzes I've been favoring this month um one is actually a new brand or newish brand it's called color theory you can get it at Amical Chemists and I like the price point. It's ranged from about $4 up to $10. I will be doing a sort of post on it once I get more stuff in it. This is just the bronzer in Natural Glow. So I've been using it as a bronzer. So we can swatch somewhere. It's just a, yeah, it's nothing, it's nothing overpowering. It's nothing va va boomy though. It's a flat matte sort of bronzer. And this costs about $6. I just like that simple clear packaging. 
It's from Sigma Company, uh, made in Taiwan. It's, just, it's actually an Australian company, not Sigma Sigma. Um, and then skipping over to something that's on the other end of the price point is the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil. It's that light medium. I've got the dark, or medium to dark one. But I've been loving this, loving, loving to sort of warm up my sort of skin tone. On days where I've gone very simple and I just want to sort of warm up sort of the colouring, I've been using this all over. And you can see I've hit pan, I've finally hit pan on a bronzer. Yeah, hey, hey. But it's beautiful and smells beautiful. It's not cocoa, it smells more like the, you know, the sweet chocolate milk powders. This, I'm not sure I mention it because I know it's actually quite, it's quite expensive, but it's the Elias Fass. And this is actually the cream, or it's a cream, what are you, a cream eyeshadow? And it's those, I know some people get annoyed by these um, clicker pen styles. This, I do have to clean every couple of days, not just to be hygienic, but to sort of keep it flowing. And it's an E106. It's a beautiful lavender, not lavender, like a lilac taupe color. Beautiful. And I've been actually using it in conjunction with my powder eyeshadow. So what I normally do is I'll sort of line under my eye, I'll sort of flick up and then sort of do my sort of contouring and then sort of my little outer V. And then, because uh, it's very, very creamy, it's, but it sets quite quick. And then I can use my powder um, eyeshadows with that. So I really like it. It's not, I don't have to use cream on cream. or I can just use it all over my lid, something very simple. Um, and, you, and it's very buildable as well, very creamy, but just so expensive. So, I mean, apart from Mecca Cosmetica, you can get it overseas, I think, from Beauty Bay and hunt around, obviously, um, to get that. Um, skipping over to nails, a few people asked me about this color. It's... Um, by Jury Cosmetics, I think it's an Australian company. I actually got four of the colors in their last habit fab boxes, the fashion and beauty boxes. This is in Sleeping Beauty Indigo. I love the name and the color's beautiful. It's probably my favorite one for the month. I, I wore it on and off for a couple of weeks and then I've just, I don't even know what I've got my now, so I'm just trying to get through everything that I've got because I had a big kick probably for about nine months I was just obsessed with acrylic nails and gel polishes and all the like and then I've just gone back to sort of doing my own nails so I do love that, it's a beautiful colour um, how's this for random teeth? Uh, now this is the Bolida Salt Toothpaste and you can generally get this range at you know, health food stores it's a little bit pricey for a toothpaste, I think I picked it up for about seven or eight dollars and yes, you could probably substitute it with toothpaste and salt and get the sort of same effect. But it's um, synthetic flavor free. It's uh, no synthetic colorants or preservatives, you know, free of fluorides and all that sort of stuff. So more of your natural toothpaste. The taste is not that great, <laughs> to be honest, but the, the feeling is awesome. Like I went back to all of my um, Colgate toothpaste and all that because I mentioned this I think at the beginning of the year or something like that and then I just you know you go back into lazy mode just use what's on the bench and stuff and what you pick up you know on special for like a couple bucks and I've noticed a difference once I've gone back to it I use uh, mouthwash and toothpaste but um this just it just they just feel cleaner and smoother and just I uh, just so refreshing as well so it's been the toothpaste I use now in the morning um, and then at night I can sort of switch up to my other toothpaste or I can use this as well but generally in the morning um, I'll use this so I love it now so take care guys